uh, overriding feeling after <laughs> that one. I can imagine. Um, that, well, that, that line from a Bruce Dixon song, it ain't a beauty, but it's all right, we'll take care of the the week. It was a struggle, it was a fight, it was character 16 0 down. Still felt that 16 0 down, we were the best side. And it's, that's, and it's hard to take. I think that was a little bit similar to last week. I thought we had we had the majority of the game, just couldn't get over the line. And sometimes you just got to win. And that's what we spoke about for the last month, just just winning. To turn that corner again. We've not been playing badly, but we've been losing games. We've probably played better than we played today. And I've lost. So that's, like I said, it's ironic in a lot of the, in that side of it. But I think it's that release valve now. And like I say, it doesn't get any easier, but we've got to go to Hull. But we go to Hull now with a little bit more belief in our belly. And like I say, the next two or three weeks are really crucial to us because it's it's a build up to a Challenge Cup quarter final. It's it's Cass, it's it's Wigan, it's like all it's a very, very tough part for us. But like I say, if we take the win, it gives us a little bit of breathing space and gets us back on the back on the bike, so to speak. In terms of sorting that gap out between yourself and the bottom four of South, how big was this one? We, do, we haven't really spoke about that. We tried to take the table out of it a little bit. I think we were getting too anxious with lots of things. Looking at other sides, checking other sides' results. It's one of those that, yeah, you, and it's, it's one of those things you don't want to have to do, but you end up leaning towards it. So we tried to take that away and look at, look at our performances. And all right, we haven't been winning, but what have we been doing well? What do we need to continue doing? <clears throat> and that's, that, you've got to take that emotion out of it and look for that place where once you win again, I said, we've got some some tired bodies in there, but we've had tired bodies the last couple of weeks that have felt sorry for themselves. A lot of the tired bodies in there with smiles on their faces. It's, it makes a massive difference to how you approach the rest of the week. There were some very good individual performances, Dave, but when you're 16 little down, there was a really a terrific spirit. From I think that. when, well, like I say, we, we, we made a bit of a hash of when Danny Bruff scored his try. Set them out to so I get gets through the line and we've settled to the next play. And again, like everybody's looking at everybody else. But the word from behind the post was that with some fellas, we know that, that the scoreboard doesn't dictate how well we're going at the moment. Let's not worry about that. Let's get a score before half time. Let's reassess ourselves. And that's and that's the process we've tried to put into them at the moment. Like I said, not, not ever feeling that we're too far behind, not ever feeling that we're too in control. Let's start again. Let's go back to the start and just roll out those things. And we still seem to make it hard for ourselves. We drop, I say, we tried to force a quick play the ball and lose the ball. And when we return the ball and set for a set after scoring a try, just gives them that little bit of field position. The Danny Bruff try was built on the back of, I say, not getting to the ball. The two earlier tries were built on the fact that we had some good possession and, I say, our completion rate's down below 60% in that first half and it's not been anywhere near that all year. Oh, like I say, if we can complete a little bit better, then opportunities will, will keep keep coming up. What about Joe Mellor? I mean, he's paced and he's written a part in it. He did, he was, I think, we, Joe's been searching for his game. I think he's been one of the players that's been searching for his game over this last six, seven weeks. And, uh, the pressure at the start of the year when he was going so good. And then it just, he just found his feet today. And we, like I said, sat with him continuously with the coaches and myself and loads of faith and belief to go and play. He's not believe in himself, Dennis, is he? he, like, he no, he likes to run, but yeah, he, he's, like, say, he's got that about him, but there's a little bit of self-doubt sometimes that we've had to, when most of the lads, that we've just had to roll across, really, because, see, and what we got today was, for the first time in a long time, we thought, I've only got, like I say, we saw that the Brad Walker's on my 18th and 19th man, he played on, on Friday night, and that's, that's the limit of where we are. Luckily, Jack came in at a real good time because we lost him with a couple of front rowers. But what I'd managed to do today was get Bridge and, and um, Saar back in the side as well. And then, let's say, Charlie's playing well, Corey had a goal, Reese is playing. It looked like the side at the start of the year, both the half backs were just missing. Like I say, we're still missing Aaron. Well, Gil Dudson ran well when you really needed it in that second half. He did, yeah, he's carried the ball. The last few weeks, he's carried the ball really well. I think he was, he was outstanding last week against Salford. So I don't think there's, like I said, there's not been a lack of effort or a lack of um, energy in us to try and go and do the right thing. We've just been anxious and made some poor poor decisions because of that anxiety. And today was just, like I said, it wasn't pretty at times, 
but what we showed today from being sixth in not down that there's, there's a lot of fight and desire in this team to want to, to climb back into a strong position in the eight.